All right, hey, we got more stuff here. You can tweet me. And, of course, here's the pie guy. All right, this is fifth grade module three, lesson three, and we're going to be adding fractions with unlike denominators. And uh, we're going to use the area model as our strategy for finding our equivalent fractions. So the idea here is uh, we're going to draw pictures. We're going to use the area model to find our common denominator. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start by drawing both fractions. We're going to draw one-fourth and we're going to draw one-third. And I'm going to try and make my two boxes exactly the same. <laughs> they, they don't quite look the same, but give, give me a break. <laughs> They're pretty close. And now one-fourth, I'm going to cut this into three equal, or three lines to cut it into four equal sized pieces. And then I'm going to shade in one-fourth. All right. And now for my thirds, I'm going to cut it in horizontally right here. And then I'm going to cut it shade in one third. So there's my one third. All right. And I'm doing that on purpose. Uh, so over here, we've got one fourth. And here, we've got one third. Now, to get our common denominators, I'm going to take, since this is each of these are cut into, uh, this is cut into fourths and this is cut into thirds. So to get my common denominators, I'm going to take my fourths and cut them into thirds, and I'm going to take my thirds and cut them into fourths. All right. And now, instead of one-fourth, I now have three-twelfths. And instead of one-third, I now have four twelfths. All right, and there suddenly I have common denominators. So I now have three twelfths plus four twelfths, and I can add those together, and I get seven twelfths. So basically, I have one third, two third, I mean, uh, one twelfth, two twelfths, three twelfths, plus another one is four twelfths, five twelfths, six twelfths, seven twelfths. So I'm, I'm left with seven twelfths total. Let's practice. So we're going to draw two rectangles that are identical, as identical as I can make them. They're not going to be perfect. And the first one we're going to cut into fourths and shade in one of those fourths. And then the second one we're going to cut into fifths, only this time we're going to go horizontally, and we're going to shade in one of those fifths. So teachers and parents, you need to make sure that when, when it says um, cutting it into fourths, that the, the students are only going to use three lines to cut it into four pieces. And that's kind of tricky. A lot of times they'll look at this denominator and think that it's, it means you have to cut four lines, and that's just not true. So, just like we did in the last video, we're going to take each of our fourths and cut them into fifths, and each of our fifths and cut them into fourths. And let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to take each of my fifths and cut them into fourths. And so, what used to be one-fourth right here suddenly finds itself being 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 twentieths suddenly finds itself being 5 twentieths. And then over here, what used to be 1 fifths suddenly finds it 1, 2, 3, 4, finds itself to be 4 twentieths. So now we have common denominators. We have 5 twentieths plus four twentieths, and that equals nine twentieths, because we have nine of these blue pieces total. One more little practice one like this. So we're going to start with three-fifths. Now this time, we're still going to draw two area rectangles, and again, I'm going to try and make them identical. 
I'm never very good at this. Uh, what's different this time is our, our numerators are something other than uh, 1. Uh, but it's the same process. So first we're going to draw this 3 fifths. So we're going to cut it into 5 pieces. And this time we're going to shade in 3 fifths instead of just 1 fifth. There's our 3 fifths. And then over here in this rectangle here, we're going to cut it into 7 pieces because the denominator is 7. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we're going to shade in 3 of those 7ths. So there's 1 7th, 2 7th, 3 7th, and so we over here we have three fifths, and over here we have three sevenths. And just like we have we've done before, we're going to take each of the fifths and cut them into sevenths. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we're going to cut each of the sevenths into fifths. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So suddenly, instead of having three fifths, we now have, let's see, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have a, an array three by seven. So that's 21. 21 out of 35. Is that right? Yeah, 21 thirty fifths. And then over here, we have an array of 1, 2, 3 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 15 30 fifths. So our common denominator is 21 30 fifths and 15 30 fifths. And all together, that equals 36 30 fifths. And if we wanted to, our students could convert that to one whole plus one thirty fifths. All right. Now, it might be surprising for some students that we start off with numerators that are the same, three and three, but when they get changed to common denominators, we suddenly have denominator, uh, numerators that are different. So the numerators that used to be the same become different. I don't know if students might notice that. Just point it out. It's kind of cool. And the answer is 1 and 30, one and 1 30 fifths, or we could just leave it as 36 30 fifths. So here, same idea, only now it's in a word problem. So let's, let's read it. So it says, Cynthia completed two-thirds of the items on her to-do list in the morning and finished one-eighth of the items during her lunch break. How much of her to-do list has she finished? So that basically means we're going to do two-thirds plus one-eighth. Not much of a surprise there because this whole lesson has been on adding. So uh, we're going to start with an area box, a unit square or a unit rectangle. And we're going to cut this one into two-thirds. So that's one, two-thirds. And then we're going to cut this other one into eight pieces. Oh my goodness, one. I'm going to start by cutting it into four pieces and then cut each one of those in half. So there's our eight tiny little pieces. And we have one eighth. Oh my goodness, that is so dinky tiny. And there's our one eighth. So we have two thirds here and we have one eighth here. And just like we've been doing before, we're going to take each of the thirds, cut it into eight, and we're going to cut each of the eighths into thirds. So I'm going to start by cutting the thirds into eight pieces. I'm going to start with four, and now I'm going to cut each of those in half. And so instead of two-thirds, we now have... 16 20 fourths. And if you don't believe me, pause the video and count all of these little inter uh, all of these little pieces now. And then instead of 
the 1 8 we're going to cut those into thirds. So instead of 1 8 we're going to have 3 24ths. So we now have common denominators. 16 24ths plus 3 24ths. And that's equal to 19 24ths. All right? And so she has... Uh, how much of her to-do to list has she finished? She's finished 19 24ths. Finished. Now, the big bonus, of course we want the bonus, is how much of her list does she still have to do? So if we wanted to, we could, and I'm going to use green here, I could take this piece and move it to right here. And I could take this piece and move it to right here. And I could take this piece and move it to right here. So all of this shaded in stuff here, all of this shaded in piece is the stuff that she has finished. And then we can see that the unfinished stuff is right here. So that means she still has one, two, three, four, five, five twenty-fourths to go. So she still has 5 24ths remaining. And I'm going to write the word left over. <laughs> left. <laughs> 5 24ths is left. And sure enough, that kind of is not terribly surprising. She's finished 19. She has 24 total. So 19 plus 5 is 24. So she has 5 24ths remaining. And that, and that is, let's see, 5th grade, module 3, lesson 3, where we're adding fractions using the area model.